Welcome to the Polycom VVX500, a performance business media phone that has high definition audio, video playback, and integrated business applications. Your VVX500 performance business media phone is easy to use when you learn a few simple actions. Your phone is equipped with a touchscreen display so you can quickly view and select information and functions. To select an item on the screen, tap the item with your finger. To scroll to information that is not visible, swipe your finger up or down. To return to the previously viewed screen, tap back. To go to another screen or view, swipe your finger left or right. Your phone has four main views called Home, Calls, Active Call, and Lines. To return to Home view from any screen, press the Home key to the right of the touchscreen display. From Home view, you can display other views by pressing the Home key again. The views you can see depend if you have calls, how many you have, and if you're in an active call. To switch between two views, swipe to the right or to the left across the touchscreen. Home view gives you access to basic phone functions, such as making a call, checking messages, and looking up contacts in the directory. From home view, you can also have access to additional functions, such as settings to customize your phone, custom applications provided by your system administrator, and, if the phone is equipped, a calendar to view and join meetings. To show more functions, touch and hold the show icon at the bottom of the touchscreen display or swipe your finger to the left or right. To show fewer functions, touch the hide icon at the bottom of the touchscreen display. To show your phone lines and favorites, tap your phone number in the upper left corner of the touchscreen display. Lines view, the default display on your phone, shows your phone lines, favorite contacts, and soft keys for performing phone tasks. When your phone is idle, that is, there are no active calls, you can tap a phone line number to show the dialer so you can enter a phone number. Or you can go to an idle browser, if it's set up on your phone, by swiping your finger across the touchscreen display. When your phone has calls, you can swipe your finger across the touchscreen display to display calls or active call view. Note that your administrator can change the default view that displays on your phone. So for example, the home view could automatically display instead of lines view. Calls view shows a list of your calls. If your phone has more than one line, calls are listed under each line's number. In the list of calls, each call is color-coded to show the call's status. For example, the active call has green shading. Incoming or held calls have blue shading. To select a call, tap the call in the list. Selected calls are highlighted, so their color is a brighter shade of green or blue. You can then tap the soft keys at the bottom of the touchscreen display to perform actions on the selected calls. Active Call View displays when you have only one call and it's active. In Active Call View, you can see the name and phone number of the person you're conversing with and the duration of the call. You can use the soft keys at the bottom of the touchscreen display to perform actions such as holding the call, transferring the call to another person, or setting up a conference call. You can also end the call. To increase your efficiency at voice communications, you can enter information such as details about contacts into your phone. You can enter information into your phone either by using the on-screen keyboard or by using the dial pad keys on the phone's console. Either way, you can choose among several data entry modes including numbers only, uppercase text, lowercase text, and title case text. Additionally, you can enter a variety of special characters such as the ampersand. The Polycom VVX500 can handle multiple calls at a time. However, only one call at a time can have active audio. Additional calls in the queue may be incoming or held. 
Your administrator can set up the phone to have as many as 12 lines with unique extension numbers or the same extension number as other lines. Depending on the way you prefer to work, you may place and answer calls using the handset, speakerphone, or a headset. During a call, you can alternate between these three methods. You can place a call by entering the phone number, selecting an entry in a list or directory, or tapping a preset favorite. When you have an incoming call, you see the caller's name and number on the touchscreen display, along with options to answer the call, reject it, forward the call, or ignore it. To answer the call, simply pick up the handset, press the speakerphone key, or press the headset key, or you can just tap answer. If you do this, the call will be answered using the speakerphone. To quickly end an active call, replace the handset or press the speakerphone key or headset key. From active call view or lines view, tap end call. From calls view, select the call if it's not already selected and then tap end call. If you need to end a call that is on hold, first select the call, tap resume and then tap end call. You can place an active call on hold, for example, to attend to a more urgent task. From active call view, lines view, or calls view, tap hold. If you're in calls view, be sure to select the call first if it's not already selected. When you transfer a call to another person, you have the option to talk to the person you're transferring the call to before the transfer completes. Tap transfer and then call the other person. After you hear the ring back tone or after you talk with the other person, tap transfer. You have several options for forwarding incoming calls, including dynamically forwarding an incoming call to another number as your phone rings, or you can set up call forwarding in advance so it applies to all incoming calls. When you no longer want to forward calls, you can disable call forwarding. To dynamically forward a call as your phone rings, tap forward. From the call forwarding screen, enter the phone number you want to forward the call to and then tap forward. To enable call forwarding for all incoming calls, from home view, tap settings. Then tap features, forward. Tap the condition under which you want to forward calls, such as always, no answer, or busy. Enter the forwarding number and then tap Enable. To disable call forwarding, from Home View tap Settings and then tap Features, Forward. From the Forwarding Type Select screen, tap the type of the forwarding to disable and then tap Disable. By using your phone's conference feature, you can place a conference call with two other numbers. Your system administrator may have set your phone system to allow more than two other numbers. Ask your system administrator for the maximum amount. To set up a conference when you're in an active call, tap Conference, and then dial the other party. When you connect with the other party, tap Conference again. If you have an active and held call, you can quickly set up a conference by tapping Join. Favorites are a list of contacts from your local contact directory that you call most often. You can see all of your favorites in your favorites list. You can see as many as 11 favorite contacts from home view and lines view. Contacts have an index number and are flagged with a star to identify them as your favorites. To view from your favorites list, from home view, tap new call and then tap favorites. To view your favorites from home view, tap your phone number in home view. Or access lines view to see your favorites. To add a contact to the favorites list, select the contact in your directory, tap add to favorites, and then tap yes. To call a favorite contact, tap the favorite in your favorites list, or tap the favorite in home or lines view.
so you can review your call history. Your phone keeps track of calls you have placed, received, and missed. You can choose to display these lists separately or as one list. You can sort or filter the recent calls list. To view a list of recent calls from Home View, tap New Call and then tap Recent. To quickly view recent calls, tap the clock icon. Your phone has a local contact directory where you can store a large number of contacts. Your organization also may provide a corporate directory that you can use on your phone. You can easily add and update contacts in your local contact directory. To view your local contact directory, from Home View, tap Directories. To add a contact, go to the directory, tap the Add Contact icon, and then enter contact details. To make the contact a favorite, enter an index number. To save the contact information, tap Save. Favorite contacts are flagged with a green star. To update contact information, go to the directory, tap the contact, and then tap the pencil icon. Update contact details, and then tap Save. From the local contact directory, you can view contact information, search for a contact, call a contact, and delete a contact. To find a contact, go to the directory and then tap Search. Enter the search criteria and then tap Search again. To call a contact, go to the directory, tap the contact you want to call, and then tap the contact's phone number. To delete a contact, go to the directory, tap the contact you want to delete, and then tap the trash icon. In the confirmation message, tap yes. For times when you are not able to receive calls, your phone system can save voicemail messages in a centralized location. If you have new voicemails, the messages icon that displays in the status bar, which looks like an envelope, shows the number of messages you have. The messages icon in the home view also shows the number of new messages that you have. Your phone's message waiting indicator also may blink or, if your phone is on the hook, you may hear an audible alert. To listen to voicemail messages, from home view, tap Messages, and then tap Message Center. From the Messages screen, tap Connect, and then follow the prompts. To quickly access messages, tap the envelope icon. You can choose to mute the phone's microphone so other parties in the call cannot hear you. Muting applies to the handset, speakerphone, and headset. You can still hear other parties when the microphone is muted. To mute the microphone during a call, on the console press the mute key, the key that shows a microphone with a line across it. When the microphone is muted, the mute key is illuminated in red. To unmute the microphone, simply press the mute key again. You can prevent your phone from ringing and send all incoming calls directly to voicemail. If you have previously chosen to forward your calls to another number, your phone will continue to send calls to that number. When you enable Do Not Disturb, your phone displays the Do Not Disturb icon, which looks like a circle with the text DND and a phone handset on the screen. To enable or disable Do Not Disturb, from Home View, tap Settings, tap Features, Do Not Disturb, and then tap Enable or Disable. You can change the volume of what you hear during a call by changing the speaker volume while the call is active. The speaker volume setting applies to the handset, speakerphone, and headset. You can also change the volume of the ringtone for incoming calls when the phone is idle or ringing. To raise or lower the volume, on the console below the keypad, press the volume up or volume down keys. To more easily identify your phone when it rings, you can choose a distinctive ringtone. 
You can also set a distinctive ringtone for contacts in your local contact directory so you can identify specific callers when your phone rings. To change the ringtone for your phone or for a line on your phone, from Home View, tap Settings, and then tap Basic Ring Type. On the Ring Type screen, tap the ringtone that you want. To set a ringtone for a contact, in your local contact directory, tap the contact you want to assign a distinctive ringtone to. On the information screen for the contact, tap the pencil icon. Scroll to and tap ring type. Tap the ringtone you want and exit the ring type screen, and then tap save. 